Hey friends, today I will discuss uh, about the CSI net solution of 2020 December. This year, part C is a very interesting question. Okay, I have written the question but the meaning of the short meaning of the question is like this. The function f of z equals to e to the power 1 by z minus 1 minus 1, z not equals to i. It has finitely many zeros. Sequence of zeros converges to poles, sequence of zeros converges to essential singularity, and sequence of zeros converges to removable singularity. Okay. Before sol solving this, I am assuming that you know about the definitions of zeros, poles, removable singularity, etc. Okay. So here they have given you a function. So let's see what is function. function the function is f equals to e to the power 1 by z minus i minus 1. We can expand this function easily. So what is the formula of this? 1 plus e to the power z ka jo formula hai hai. 1 by z minus i plus 1 by z minus i whole square by 2 factorial plus minus 1. Okay. So this one, this one. Cancel out and then it came 1 by z minus i plus 1 by 2 factorial into 1 by z minus i whole square. Okay. Plus infinitely many terms like this. So, we know that in the series ke expansion, pe, this part is called principal part. Right? This part is called principal part. And this principal part has infinitely many terms. Okay. And we know that if in a function the principal part has infinitely many terms, then at that point, here, cos point be infinitely many terms are principal part pe, z equals to i. So that point, at that point, there is an essential singularity. As I told e to the power 1 by z. I mean, 1 plus 1 by z plus 1 by z square plus this type's expansions. Okay. Shai 2 factory of y upper. So, here par z equals to 0 pe principal. Matlab, uh, this part is principal part. And this function has essential singularity at z equals to 0. Okay. Just similar this way. This function has principal uh, essential singularity at z equals to i. Okay. This function has essential singularity at j equals to i. Now, question pe kya pucha hai inone? That's important. They are asking, it has finitely many zeros. Does this function have finitely many zeros? Uh, second is, sequence of zeros converges to poles. Sequence of zeros converges to essential singularity. And sequence of zeros converging to removable singularity. Okay? So sequence of zeros jo hai, wo kaha par converge kar raha hai. That's important. Okay? So let's see. Sequence of zeros kya kya hai? So, a function has zeros at the point z0 belongs to complex number if f of z0 equals to 0. Okay? So, is ka kaun kaun se point pe is function ki value 0 hoga. That point is the zeros of that function. Simple. So, e to the power 1 by z minus 1 minus 1 equals to 0. Okay. Now, aap log mujhe bataiye ki z ki kaun kaun si values pe this function ka 0 hoga. Okay. Chalhe dekhte hai. Equals to 0. Okay. That imply dekhe e to the power 1 by z minus i equals to 1 e to the power 1 by z minus i equals to 1 equals to what is the value of 1? cos 2n pi plus i sin 2n pi we can say that I say plus i sin 2n pi okay that imply e to the power 1 by z minus i equals to e to the power 2n pi i okay now 1 by z minus i equals to 2n pi i. That implies z equals to 
1 by 2n pi i plus i. Right? So, this is basically the set of zeros. Right? So, they are asking that in this sequence of zeros, this is the sequence of zeros and in this sequence of zeros, where this converges. Okay? But the sequence of zeros kaha par converge kar raha hai? Or jis point pe converge kar raha hai? Us point pe kya hai? Removable singularity? Essential singularity? Poles or kya hai? Okay? So, this, you know, clearly, pehle to, they are asking that this sequence has uh, finitely many zeros and now we are getting the, these are the zeros. So, we get the number of zeros. Here, n belongs to natural number. So, definitely, it has uh, finite as well as infinite many zeros actually. Now, this sequence Zn, if I assume it Zn, then Zn converges to i as n tends to infinity. I think it is clearly understandable, right? So, Zn tends to i as n tends to infinity. Now, the question is, sequence of 0 converges to Corsi point p. So, sequence of zeros converges to i. And here, I have proved that the function has essential singularity at j equals to i. So, sequence of geos converges to essential singularity. I think now it is clear. This question came CSI net 2020 December in part C. Okay. 4.75. Take here. Thoda sa bas kamisit use karke. Okay. So, thanks friends. Thank you for watching the video.